Welcome to the world of international travel. <sighs> With children. How long do we have to go for? Can you get a burger and fries in that part of the world? What am I supposed to do on a plane for 12 hours, I thought Mom? we were going to Disneyland. What if we get sick? I mean, like, food poisoning. She hit me first! Relax. Traveling with kids is fun. Check this out. Gotta go travel. We're going places. What do you got, Wallace? <laughs> it's looking pretty critical, AJ. Check it out. Why so glum, kids? They're going to Paris for two weeks, and we gotta go with them. Yeah, and we don't want to go. Hmm. Sounds serious. Marley, destination stats, please. Got him. Ah, Paris, capital of France, home of the Seine. Nine million people, and lots of amazing architecture. History and beauty, everywhere you look. It's the land of a thousand and one photo ops. Like the Place de la Concorde, check out that perspective. Romantics, and you know who you are, will enjoy the perspective offered by the timeless statues and fountains of the Luxembourg Gardens. The realists will get a kick out of Renoir's old hangout, Montmartre, a haven for modern-day artists. Paris has something for everyone, whatever their speed. Closing time, bonne nuit. Which brings us to Le Soir in the City of Light, a stroll down the Champs-Elysees. Dinner, dancing... Kids, the sitter's here. Okay, now I know why my parents want to go. But what's in it for me? Yeah, and more. Well, besides being one of the most romantic cities in the world... Oh, excuse me while I hurl. There are a ton of things for kids to do in Paris. N'est-ce pas, Wally? Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, you've got hundreds of thousands of kids of all shapes and sizes, and they find stuff to do. Regardez! Your trip to Paris starts with a ride up the Eiffel Tower. It was built in 1889 by Gustave Eiffel. I love Paris. And Paris loves you, sir. Next stop, the Louvre Museum, where the Mona Lisa hangs. Say cheese. Oops, I mean fromage. But Paris isn't just about museums and culture. Like us, French kids have a lot of fun just hanging out. <laughs> just doing normal things. Old-fashioned merry-go-rounds, or menage, are all over Paris. And parks like Jardin d'Acclimatation, just a few miles out of the city, are a great break from sightseeing. You can spend a whole day here doing what kids do best, horsing around. And here's a rainy day solution, the Cité des Sciences, really popular with the locals. Just park the parents next door at the Science Museum and check out the super cool interactive kids section. We all need some. Downtime from the adults. But, a warning, you will not want to leave this place. Cool, I'll definitely check out the Eiffel Tower. But what I want to know is, am I going to get stuck eating snails? Ew, and frog legs, yuck. Fear not, mon ami. While escargot and quiz de grenouille are standard French fare, you'll still be able to chow down on a burger. But you'll want to avoid being a total lamer by trying out the following. Societ and baguette. Voici du fromage. Camembert, to be exact. And let's not forget the French breakfast of champions, the Café Croissant. And for the folks, when they get to the babysitter, as they are called, and rendezvous for the romantic tête-à-tête, -tête, nothing tops an order of moule malonniere served with a chilled bottle of champagne. And remember, when you're in one of these and you want some service, look for a guy dressed like this and say, excusez-moi, monsieur. And don't say garçon, it's passé. Right. Not to mention a major faux pas. But enough pedantic astronomical chit chat. Mickey, here's a sneak preview of just a few of the amazing local leads you'll find in Paris. It 
It's no secret that France is the food capital of the world. Just look at this crepe. Choose from ten scrumptious flavors. Chocolat, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Everywhere you look, food, glorious food. Eating and people watching is a tourist favorite. But hey, why not save some cash and do like the locals? Mm. A visit to the bakery or boulangerie is a part of every Parisian's daily routine. Ah, oui, la baguette, the star of French cuisine. Here, there, everywhere, the baguette rules. Well, almost. The French do bonbon really well too. And hey, une glacé, make it in double, s'il vous plaît. Sandwiches like these are delicious, but why not make your own? Just visit a boucherie, baguette in hand, and get your own sandwich fixings. Bonjour. Est-ce que vous désirez un peu de foie? Liver? Ah, uh, no, merci. Ou du boudin blanc, si vous le désirez? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Bon jambon torchon, si Oui, oui, le jambon, c'est très bon. So you see, Mick and Sam, you're not going to starve in Paris. Yeah, but hey, what kind of money am I supposed to put in those gumball machines? What does one F mean? Yeah. Whoa, you mean this gum machine? Well, four francs today is worth about a loonie, so a franc is about a quarter. Got it. <laughs> Good question. Actually, France has got to be one of the most Fido-friendly nations on the planet. In fact, you can even bring your dog to most cafes in Paris, and they'll give you some leftovers and a bowl of water for him. No way! Way! Segway to our Paris wildlife segment. Allons-y! It is often said that a dog is a person's best friend. Nowhere is this more true than in Paris. And the petit poodle is a numéro un, or is a big favorite, for most people anyway. But where the chien may rule, le chat does roam. Boldly going where no dog on a leash can. And very often with a friend, exploring new worlds and flighty dinner possibilities. Uh-oh, here's another part of cobblestone culture. Yuck! Okay, so here's a million franc question. What do they do with the doggy do? Yeah! Good question. Well, every morning, men in green suits drive around the city on scooters with long vacuum hoses attached to them and scoop a la poop. <laughs> Too cool. Motorized pooper scoopers. Pretty ingenious, Nispa. Actually, those motorbikes are only one of the ways that the French get around. The streets of Paris are pretty old and narrow, so those motorbikes are de rigueur over there. Bikes are pretty de rigueur, too. Here are a few ways you might get around when you're in Paris. French singer Yves Montand was right. The bicyclette is one fine way of getting around Paris. A bicyclette. But this little train is by far the best way of touring around the steep hills of Montmartre. The funiculaire is ideal for the stroller challenged or the feet weary. The bus is a great and cheap way of seeing Paris. You need one ticket per ride. No transfers here. For large families, buses are a great alternative to taxis, which, as a rule, won't take more than three passengers. This is a typical subway or metro entrance. You just go underground, buy your ticket, about eight francs. Get it punched, and all aboard. It's not stroller friendly, but the metro is by far the cheapest and fastest way to get around Paris. Allons-y. So now you know how to be mobile in the City of Lights. But here are a few tips from our token travel parents, Tim and Vive, on how to actually get to Paris. And what you got to do before you get on that plane. Hi kids, unless you're taking one of those luxury cruises, your trip to Paris will probably start right here at the airport. Now don't forget to bring along one of those emergency things. It's an anti-boredom emergency kit. That's for sure. And here's another tip before you got to go. You got to do your homework. Go to the library and take out some books on the destination you're going to. And make yourself a list of the places that you definitely want to see and be sure to show it to your folks. And for the plane, don't forget the bubble gum, the calm eggs, also your Walkman and your favorite music because your parents are taking you. And, and you, you got to go. go. Okay, thanks guys. 
Okay, Mick and Sam, now that you know where you're going, what you're gonna do and eat there, and how to get around this very cool place, the City of Lights isn't looking so bad now. In the spot? The Eiffel Tower, one franc bubblegum machines, and motorized pooper scoopers. Paris, I gotta go. Oui, oui, allons-y. Bon voyage, guys. Hey, look at the time. We've gotta go, too. Gotta, gotta go. go. We're going places. <laughs>